Diga lá, rapaziada, de Garnara, começando mais uma edição do palco MTV. Cá estamos nós mais uma vez de frente ao Olímpia, onde acontece mais uma apresentação dos Ramones, os caras que já tiveram aqui no Brasil várias vezes divulgando aí vários discos. Tiveram pela primeira vez em 87 de lá pra cá, vários shows se sucederam aqui em Terras Brasílias. A gente tá aqui em frente à fila. Tem uma galera já esperando aqui desde as 7 horas da manhã para conferir essa apresentação de Ramones. E olha só aqui, dentro do público de Ramones, fanático é o que não falta, né? Vamos saber aqui que hora que o povo chegou aqui. Que horas chegou aqui para conferir, mano, o show? Que horas chegou? 8 horas. 8 horas da manhã? E você? Às 8 também, né? Às 8 horas? Faz tempo que vocês estão aqui também? Que horas vocês chegaram? Faz um pouco de tempo já. E as outras apresentações do Ramones? Vocês chegaram a ver aqui no Brasil? Essa é a primeira vez que você está vindo ver o show dos caras? Primeira vez. Primeira vez também. Tá certo então, bom show pra vocês então. Tá certo, desde a manhã, desde as 8 horas da manhã, os caras já estão na fila esperando tudo isso pra pegar um bom lugar ali na fila do Gargarejo e conferir de perto o Joey Ramon e a galera. No programa de hoje eu vou mostrar pra vocês Raimundos ao vivo, tem também The Clash, tem camisa de Vênus e pra abrir o programa a gente manda Pearl Jam com Animal. Sick time here in Brazil, yeah? Well, we're not sure. Sixth time in South America. I'm not sure. We might have missed Brazil one, once or twice. <laughs> we came Brazilian, a Brazilian boy. Yeah, we've been here a lot. Tony, I read that you did your first concert, I think it was in 1974, in a private party. Could you tell us something about... Uh, do you remember this? Yeah... We started by the first show, I don't know, I think it might have been like around March of 74, and... Uh, we realized we needed to go back and rehearse for five more months or something after we did that and that we weren't prepared yet and the next time we played a show was at CBGB's in around August or September of 74 but the first show was like a march we you know and we realized we needed a lot more work so CBGB's uh, is, a, is a kind of uh Palace, that punk rock, it's a dump, yeah. <laughs> Could you tell about something about the, the atmosphere that bands that used to play there? Well, back in 74, 75, 76, that's when, that's when we played there, we a two-year period. Uh, at the same time, you had the Dead Boys, Blondie, Talking Heads, Television, Patti Smith. We had all these bands playing. So it was, it was a good scene, there was a lot of good bands. Dictators, uh, Johnny Thunder and the Heartbreakers. So, there was a lot of good bands, so... Was, yeah. Did you used to jam with the, these bands, Television, no. Jerry Harrison? No, I didn't talk to them. Do you, like, do you like doing jams, jam sessions, playing with the other no, artists? No, I, I hate jam sessions. <laughs> the only band I play in is the Ramones. I only know Ramones songs, I don't know any other songs. I never play with anyone else. This is it. I get on the stage. It's fun playing for, for Ramones fans. Sitting home playing the guitar is not fun. Okay. Sitting there playing with friends is not fun. I don't do that. Uh, I only play on the stage for Ramones fans. Right. Are you going to do a, a gig with Iggy Pop next to Brazil and in Argentina? In Buenos Aires uh, next week. Uh, we. Um, Play some stadium and Iggy Pop uh, goes on before us, you know. Okay. Johnny, which was the weirdest concert that you have ever done in your whole career? 20 years playing live, it must have happened some expected know. situation. Uh, or... Monty, what's the weirdest concert we ever played? <laughs> I'm asking my our road manager right now because he's he knows this stuff. He doesn't know either. Uh, I, I don't know. What what was weird? Um, been some a lot of weird ones right i mean you know like you know going out and playing a show 15 years ago and opening for a uh, foreigner one show that was weird opening for toto uh it was weird uh there's been a lot of weird ones opening for black sabbath was weird i guess you know just uh they're all so long ago at this point most of the shows now are pretty uh, regular and you have all full of ramones fans and it's, they're fun you are going to check it out in our program now. Uh, Lou Reed, Video Violence. Have you ever played with them? Velvet Underground or playing in a festival? No, Velvet with them? Underground were gone way before. That was, they were gone already in the, in the 60s. Lou Reed would come down in the early days of CBGB's and come down and see our show. Uh, so we got to meet him then. But we haven't, I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, okay. Vamos ver então Video Violence, Lou Reed na área. Estamos voltando aqui com o Johnny Ramon, trocando uma ideia aqui no backstage do Olimpo, onde a banda faz mais uma apresentação aqui no Brasil. 
And what about your biggest concert? I read that you did one for 500,000 people in California in a festival. Uh, okay, How do you feel like playing there? Well, that wasn't a Ramon show. That was just the uh, Us festival. festival. The biggest Ramon show was uh, last year in Buenos Aires. We had 40,000 Ramones fans who played with us. Yeah, and uh, that was great. Uh, but I really like, prefer playing places, say, like this. Uh, I like playing for like indoors for like 4,000 people. And uh, that's always most fun. You know, anything from 1,500 people to 4,000. It's a nice range. It's uh, Fans are close enough they can see the show. And uh, yeah, I prefer that. But occasionally playing outside for a lot of people is fun too. You know? The first time that you came to Brazil, it was in 1987. I'd like you to talk about uh, that, that concert, how you felt there. <laughs> don't you remember? No, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I, all I, I remember coming to South America for the first time, but I don't remember anything that happened other than I, I remember one incident was my amplifiers blew, but I don't know which city that was in, and I had to use uh, the practice amp from the dressing room because all the amplifiers all blew. But uh, was that Rio? Was it San Paulo? It was in San Paulo. Okay, so in 87, uh, it was different different venue. I don't remember what a venue. Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing I really remember. <laughs> and that, that tour is your last tour? Are you planning to, to, to give up the band? What are you going to do next? How do you feel like uh, doing your last concert in all those years playing rock and roll, playing punk rock? 22 years is a long time. It's long enough and uh, it's still a lot of fun but it's, uh, I'd rather fans see the Ramones uh, at a certain level of performing and, uh, and not become less than what they expect. So I'd rather stop before we become less than, than they're used to. So eventually that will happen. You know. um, in your early years, you played in the uh, UK with a, a lot of success with many of the, those bands in, in punk scene went to, to your concert to see. What could you tell? Uh, you mean the, the bands that came the first time? I guess from the first time we went there in 1976, I guess you had uh, Sex Pistols, The Damned, The, the Clash, brought the shows, Chrissy Hines, The Pretenders, uh, they walked the show. Uh, at the time, we didn't think nothing of it because we didn't know who they were. But we, we talked to them all and... Did you see the U.S. and the U.K. very well? Huh? Did you see there very, very much? You, you have a lot of success there. Oh, we see it well. Um, yeah, it's a little easier there than it is in the United States because you have uh, the music papers, uh, Melody Maker, New Musical Express. Most of the kids re will read that. So if they put you on the cover of one of those papers, all the kids know about you. In America, there's nothing that that nothing similar the kids don't really read uh, music papers they just figure out they learn the bands on their own and it takes a lot longer to unless you're getting played heavy on the radio is the only way you're going to get uh, that same level of success like that you know? the concerts that you used to see during your teenagers what kind of artists you uh, the first concert i went to was the rolling stones uh, I saw The Who probably 10 times. I've seen The Doors, I think about seven, eight times. I've seen Hendrix a lot of times, and The Cream, and uh, Led Zeppelin. These are all concerts I went to. Before I got into the Ramones, I used to go to the New York Dolls a lot, and uh, Stooges, and Slade, and I've been to a lot of concerts. Yeah. I mean, I figured out, I've probably been to about 500 concerts before I was in the Ramones, so. Next section, let's check it out on another video now. You show the class. Um VD Clash aí no palco, a MTV a gente vai com Should I Stay or Should I Go? Daqui a pouquinho tem mais Johnny Ramon aqui no programa. Estamos voltando no palco, a MTV a gente continua trocando uma ideia com Johnny Ramon. Uh, what about your live albums? You have recorded the last one, the, the, the third one, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, pretty much like last, about a week and a half ago in New York, uh, we recorded the show. I don't know exactly what we're doing yet or, or what. It's, it's just uh, something that the record company's been thinking about and releasing a, a live video of the show to go with the live album. We're not sure exactly. Can't give you any details yet because we don't know. 
they just said, we, we want you to record the show. The management has ideas, and we said, oh, you know, okay, we'll record the show. So It's a live, and the, the local live, the other two albums, the, the other two live albums. Yeah. Where did you, did you play? Where? How was well, the, that gig? How were that gigs? Local live was done in Spain. I don't remember what city, Barcelona or something like that. Uh, Uh, It's Alive was done in London. I think it was on New Year's Eve of 1977 going to 78. The It's Alive album I'm very happy with. That was a really good album. And uh, Local Live didn't come out as good as It's Alive. It's Alive was better. You know, ho hopefully this one will come out right. You used to record all of your gigs, yeah? No, we recorded a lot. We videotaped a lot, you know, to watch back, see what we're doing and, you know. Private stuff. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, uh, there ain't much difference. You know, the only thing you'll hear different is, you know, uh, you'll hear what new material, so you know which album it was from. You can figure out what year it was from listening to the show. Okay. You know. What about Lollapalooza, Johnny? Are you planning to to to, to play it there? It's like uh, we're doing Lollapalooza. That will be the end. Uh, the last day of Lollapalooza will be the last, you know, the end of the Ramones. We wanted to end it here in South America. We wanted to play our final shows in South America uh, and end it here. But we got this Lollapalooza offer like two weeks ago. Soundgarden asked us to be on, and uh, they're friends of ours. And I thought about it for a while, and I thought, well, we haven't done a, a final American tour, that maybe it would be good to do a final American tour. You know, so. Thank you very much, Johnny. What could you say to the fans that are, are seeing our program? Um, to thank all our fans in Brazil. They've, all, they've been a tremendous audience since the first time we ever come here. And uh, really, uh, there's no audience other than the Argentine audience and the Brazilian audience. These are the best two audiences we have in the, in, in the, in the whole world. So it's been, it's been terrific, yeah. And you uh, have discovered this... Uh, a few years ago. Uh, yeah, it's uh, this, the kids are so, um, so energetic and so warm and, and with like this love that you feel and it's, it's tremendous. Okay. Thank you very much, Johnny. Have a good show, man. Vamos em frente no palco, MTV, a gente confere agora Runaways, Mama, we are crazy now. com o MTV, depois desse bate-papo com o Johnny Ramon, a gente confere agora um trecho da apresentação da banda em São Paulo e a semana que vem tem mais, aquele abraço